Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Two Israeli audience members were sworn at, called genocidal, and told, you're not welcome, by fellow spectators shouting free Palestine at them after objecting to a joke told by stand-up comedian Reginald D. Hunter as anti-Semitism campaigners tonight called the incident a sickening low that cannot be disguised as comedy. The U.S.-born entertainer was halfway through the packed gig at the Edinburgh Festival on Sunday night, described by one theater critic as the ugliest Edinburgh fringe moment ever, when the commotion began. Hunter, 55, made a quip about how when watching a recent Channel 5 documentary about domestic abuse it made him think of Israel. While the joke evoked laughter from the audience, a couple on the front row were prompted to shout out, not funny, before revealing they were Israeli. Dominic Cavendish, chief theater critic for The Telegraph, was in the audience when the furor erupted. Writing a review of the show, which he awarded one star to, Cavendish said, the pair, who said they were from Israel, then endured their fellow audience members shouting expletives, F off, among them, and telling them to go, with slow hand claps, boos, and cries of genocidal maniac. You're not welcome and free Palestine part of the toxic mix. Rather than pulling the audience up for their animosity towards the unwitting hecklers, Hunter apparently instead said to them, You can say it's not funny to you, but if you say it to a room full of people who laughed, you look foolish. The couple, one of whom was disabled, are then said to have exited from the show as Hunter apparently openly laughed at them and his fellow audience members continued to jeer. Not done with the pair, even as they left, Hunter then related a story about how his partner had complained about not being able to access the Jewish Chronicles website, as it is behind a paywall. He is reported as saying, typical FNG Jews, they won't tell you anything unless you subscribe. It's just a joke, he added. The incident has provoked outrage among some social media users, who describe it as awful and anti-Semitic. One wrote, his behavior was abhorrent, but what was the audience thinking by abusing two strangers who happened to be Israeli? Hateful, toxic, repellent stuff. Another posted, so disappointing that someone who is from a minority doesn't empathize with, in fact encourages, racism towards another minority. A third said, if your gags are at the expense of, a, bullied minority, you're not a comedian, you're a bully. Hunter is no stranger to controversy and has had to defend himself previously against accusations of anti-Semitic remarks made at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, The Times reports. In 2006, Jamie Glassman, a Jewish writer and producer on The Ollie G Show, slammed Hunter after he joked about the law forbidding Holocaust denial in Austria. At the time, Glassman said of Hunter's show, controversially called Pride and Prejudice and Niggas, of all the possible targets, of all the things he might wish to say, his complaint is that he is not permitted to parrot the greatest anti-Semitic slur of the last hundred years, that the Holocaust never happened. Paul Sullivan, Hunter's publicist at the time, said the comedian was simply trying to convey that it was difficult to make jokes about Jewish people in that moment. In 2006, Israel was embroiled in the Lebanon war with Hezbollah. Mr. Sullivan said, he's not making anti-Jewish remarks, all he's saying is, it's very difficult to criticize Jewish people in this world at the moment. He wouldn't be doing the material if he was apologizing for it. Reg just sees it as material for his show, he writes about things he believes in. In 2013, he was again caught in a racism storm after performing at the Professional Footballer Association, PFA, award ceremony. During that incident he littered his act with the word n asterisk 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 in front of startled guests despite the organization's strong anti-racism stance. The PFA's deputy chief executive Bobby Barnes said at the time, there were anti-Jewish jokes, there were anti-women jokes, there were anti-Irish jokes, there was the repeat use of the n word. If you were looking for a scenario of absolutely everything we wouldn't want on the night, I think you had a montage there. A spokesperson for campaign against anti-Semitism said, the